Today we're going to talk about NLRP3, which is your immune system's fire alarm sensor. So let's go back to our concept diagram where we've got COVID-19, the virus, entering our cell via the ACE2 receptor entry gateway. It's going to hijack our genetic material or 3D printer and replicate copies of itself. And as a result of that, that's going to activate our NLRP3 fire alarm sensor. And what happens when you activate this sensor? Well, now you're going to turn on the immune system and several cells and chemical messengers called cytokines are going to enter the cell. So these orange little blobs are your cytokine messengers. And now they're entering the cell to help attack the virus and suppress your viral load. But as a result of this, sometimes an overaggressive attack on the viral load can lead to a process called pyroptosis. And this is basically when an inflammatory fire or a cytokine storm breaks out and basically disrupts the cell, damages it, and actually destroys the cell. That's really what pyroptosis is. So really the key here is to optimize your immune system so it kills the viral invaders without destroying your cells. Now, let's take a look at this table from a study that highlights the connection between uh, physical health conditions, mental health conditions, and NLRP3, the inflammasome. So let's take a look here, this box that I highlighted. Look at the physical diseases that are actually associated with this NLRP3 inflammasome. These include type 2 diabetes, obesity, and cardiovascular disease. Now, incidentally, those are the same leading comorbidities for COVID-19 deaths as shown here in this graph from New York. So hypertension, diabetes again, cholesterol, heart disease. I've actually highlighted renal disease here too because I think kidney disease is not getting enough attention to date. We're also highlighting here the prevalence of depression and showing the intimate link between physical and mental health disease. But this really helps highlight the link of how NLRP3, that molecular sensor, is really bridging these underlying conditions to the complications and comorbidities we're seeing from COVID-19. So really what I'm telling you is this NLRP3 molecule, the sensor is the bridge between external viral load and that internal cytokine fire. And that sensor is activated by pre-existing conditions like the ones we talked about and also lifestyle behaviors, which we've mentioned in prior COVID videos and we'll continue to focus on in future ones. And notice how the lifestyle behaviors themselves can fuel and make those pre-existing conditions even worse. The last closing point I want to make is that this fire alarm sensor is unfortunately a silent alarm. It is occult, and it's silently turned on by covert risk factors like worsening blood pressure, glucose, an increase of a couple of inches in your waistline, emotional stress. These are all factors that can really turn that fire alarm on, but they can sneak up on you if you're not monitoring them. So one key piece of advice is please make sure you monitor your risk factors and manage these pre-existing conditions by staying closely connected to your healthcare system and team. A lot of us, because of shelter in, are not staying connected with our healthcare providers. Follow your numbers, talk to your physicians, stay connected to the system. And finally, prioritize the lifestyle changes that can support your mental and physical health. So with this combination of interventions, we can hopefully silence the overreaction of that NLRP3 fire alarm. Thanks for watching. Download my free COVID ebook and check out my resources. Subscribe to my co video series and follow me on Instagram.